turning to some news right now firefighters is as we all know put their lives on the line all the time to save ours however today two of these brave first responders actually needed some saving of their own they were pinned under some debris while they were fighting a fire now three winnie dorch is live and winnie we understand that you were able to talk to one of the firemen moments after they were pulled out of that house it had to be a very emotional moment well, that's exactly right. I did talk to one of them. The other is in the hospital suffering from a leg injury. However, they tell me they didn't have much time to think, only react. Trapped while trying to put out a fire. All of a sudden, the floor came down, and next thing you know, we were on the second floor with debris on top of us. East Cleveland firefighters rushing to Forest Hill Avenue Wednesday morning. A family home engulfed in flames, heavy smoke. It was too much to handle. They called for mutual aid. South Euclid and Cleveland Heights were on scene. East Cleveland firemen made the initial attack, but things quickly got chaotic. Firefighters were working to knock out the fire on the third floor. Suddenly, the floor collapsed. Three firemen fell. There was holes in the floor. We climbed past them, knocking fire, heard a creak, and then we fell down. All three of us fell down on their crew. They fell to the second floor, where firefighters were working, too. One of the members uh, was able to grab me and pull me to the doorway, and uh, I turned around, and they were all gone. That's because two firefighters were pinned down. When I started to get the stuff off my top half, he was right next to me, and I could hear him talking. And then what was going through your mind? I, we got to get out. They were eventually rescued, but these brave first responders are always prepared for anything. They train for incidents like this. I think it's more so instinct because we train enough to the point where you don't have to think. It just happens naturally, and uh, everybody kind of just reacted and uh, got to work. And the people living there, they declined an interview, but they tell me that home has been in their family since 1965. The mother living there was sent to the hospital for smoke inhalation. The fire chief tells me the fire started due to electrical issues. In East Cleveland, I'm Winnie Dorch, 19 News.